That was a tune called The Drunken Piper, and I'm Jody Stecker, the sleepy guitarist. Hello, and welcome to this video. And what I'm going to do for the next hour and a bit is teach you how to play Irish and Scottish tunes on the guitar with a flat pick, the way that I do it. And I'll tell you a little bit about how I've organized this videotape. I'm, I'm giving you tunes that I think are very memorable. They're, uh, they're not particularly obscure tunes, they're well-known tunes, and I'm thinking you'll be able to hold them in your mind pretty quickly so that I can concentrate on teaching you the right-hand technique and the, the left-hand ornaments that you need to know to learn lots of reels and jigs, hornpipes and strathspeys, marches, etc. yourself without the video. Um, and I want to start with a tune that doesn't have a whole lot of left hand movement in it. The first few tunes in the video will be playing a lot out of chord position so we can really concentrate on our right hand. I want to start with playing reels. Like reels is where you fly, you know, and reels is where flat pickers get tangled up. So uh, it's, they're a little harder to play, but let's start there. And the first tune I want to give you is called Sheehan's Reel. It's an Irish reel. And uh, it goes like this. That was Sheehan's Reel, and before I teach it to you, let's make sure that your guitar and mine are in tune. I've got my bass string down a whole step to D, otherwise I'm in standard tuning, except for the bass, so I'm tuned like this. I'll do it again, and this time, watch my pick. Take a look how my downstroke never comes out. Instead it comes purely down and a little bit in as if I was trying to throw the pick in the sound hole. And it comes to rest on the next string. Get a nice big broad sound that way. Okay. So the first phrase of Sheehan's reel, I'm not using any fingering at all, it's entirely done with open strings and the right hand goes like this. Or, could you see the difference? There's one little difference. We've got a long note and a whole bunch of short ones. We've got down, down, up, down, up, down, up, or down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Now the double up is gotten by turning the pick just a little bit and there's just one impulse, one motion, and that's on the B string and then continue onto the G string. It sounds just a little bit different and it's a little closer to what a fiddler does. So, the next line of the tune starts to bring in fingering. We bring in the left hand. I'll start it from the beginning and then move on. Again, a little. 
little slower. So the next downbeat is going to be on an A note, and I'll accompany that with my bass strings. Okay, it goes. Some people don't <clears throat> play the A flat, they'll just go. I'm often one of those people, sometimes I just don't bother. It's nearly the same. And then I make an A minor position, <clears throat> and uh, I have to bring my thumb on the bass string to get that E note. So far we've got this. You'll notice that my notes, the flow of notes, aren't exactly the same length. If you broke it into couples, couplets, instead of being like this, it's more like this. The first of each couplet's a little bit longer and the second's a little bit shorter. It gives it a good swing. It uh, makes it more danceable and it makes it much easier to play. Uh, so, moving on. The next line is similar to the first. There's a new note, a D. Then, Right up the scale. And just, we want to hear that G and we do. Long C note. Finally. That C note's begging to be ornamented, and there's a number of ways we can do it. Watch my uh, first finger of my left hand and see what I do with it. And finally, we can roll. Now, everybody knows that a guitar can't play roles. Only a piper and a fiddler and a flute player and an accordion player, God help us, can roll, but it's not true. We can do it too if we use a little bit of brute force. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, a roll is a beautiful ornament. It's a note. It's interrupted by another one from above returns to itself, is interrupted from below, and returns to itself. Five notes all told. We can do it in one pick stroke, like this, or in two, or in more. So, I didn't learn to roll in the time it takes me to get through one video, I learned in a few months. Take your time, play it rhythmically, and it sounds really good. <laughs>